These props have a very interesting story behind them. I was driving up to Maine one day and I passed by the Square One Mall and it has this sign that looks like a little square within a big square. And that made me thinking, well, what if squares were a little more like closed circles, you know, with a little square within a bigger square? But I thought to myself, you know, if it was just a flat thing, it wouldn't be nearly as exciting as closed circles are. Um, so I thought that one of them should be rotated over the other. And that led me to drawing up some silly design that didn't quite make a lot of sense. It uh, had a corner in the very center of the big square. So the trouble with that is when you're trying to finger spin a quarter, you're, a corner, you're gonna have to like, you know, be dealing with this pointy edge the whole time. That doesn't work. So I scrapped that idea and then I tried drawing it so it was in the corner of one of them, but it didn't, the proportions were way off. And then I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I came across this uh, post by this guy SquareQuest and uh, it was something along these lines. And I thought to myself, oh my God, that's exactly what I've been looking for in a design. It had the little square within a bigger square and this handle of the little square sits inside the very center of the big square. And now they're a real prop. I talked with Roman from RD Boogang about getting them made as a prototype. And so these are the, first, the one and only set of square ones available, or maybe root squares, square roots. Oh my God, this is cool. This is so cool. <laughs> I love this so much. Holy crap. Oh. Wow. So these are same time opposite isolations. Oh my God. This is the first time that I am picking these up. And what is so incredible about this to me is that I am able to explore so much of how they work without ever having picked them up in the first place, you know? And it's, it's really incredible how these props and these ratios and design function, like they're all connected. All of this geometry is connected together through this specific form of object manipulation called finger spinning. It's all, it all relates back to just spinning it on your fingertips. And the reason why this work, yeah, <laughs> the reason why this works is because my hand is in the very center of the big ring. So that creates a certain amount of balance. And so it's, a lot of people will say, well, wait a minute, one side is gonna be heavier than the other. That's true. But when it sits like this, suddenly it's symmetrically balanced. And that is where you find the balance. It's about chasing the balance as it rotates around. And playing with where you direct that, in fact, you can, manipulate the heavier weight so that way it adds momentum as you spin. This is so fucking cool. I love this so much. This is a triumph. I am so proud of what I've done. I can't believe this is real. This is like a dream come true for me. So this is the first prop that I've made in this project that I'm calling Symmetry in Motion. Um, I like to call them Square One after the Square One Mall, which originally inspired me to consider making squares a little more like closed circles. And it's kind of a funny story. The corner of the larger square actually sits over here so we can make some interesting effects by manipulating that way as well. There are so many interesting effects to be explored with these and I am only just picking these up for the first time today. And it, it is such a magical feeling to 
be able to pick up a prop and to understand how it works simply because of the ways in which it's related to the other props that you spin. It's really, I, I can't really describe the feelings right now, but it's a mixed, it's a combination of excitement. <laughs> uh, I feel so inspired to just to, just to play with these right now um, and to explore all these different, all these different possibilities. Wow. Ooh. Mm, mm. Oh my God. This is so cool. So this is same time opposite anti-spin. There's a double anti-spin because each one is performing a different. Okay, so this is split time, double isolations. Oh, let's try, this is an isolation versus a, uh, a static spin. This is incredible. I'm having a, Ah, maybe it'll be easier to do chasers. This is a split time, same direction chaser. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So one thing that's very interesting about these is the way that the negative space of the larger circles, I'm uh, sorry, of the larger squares connect with each other. So even if 